Jurassic Park Survival is the latest of Jurassic Park slash world games to be coming to join the franchise's game roster, and its biggest highlight from the trailer was, for me at least, the reveal of the return of the original Velociraptor trapped in the freezer in the original movie. With an original story following an original character, and loads of different elements of horror, action, and sci-fi coming with it, this return has many questions, and the trailer offers one more, as he seems to be different than we remember. That's right, I say he because one small detail suggests that this is not a female raptor as we once saw it in Jurassic Park, but in fact may be changing into a male raptor, very similar to a raptor we have not seen since 1997. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to another video for Jurassic Park Survival, our second video I think? Yeah, second video. Today's video, we're going into one detail in the trailer for the one shot of the raptor that we actually get to see outside of the little sneaky hints of the door to the cold storage freezer being open. The one shot that we actually see of the raptor lunging towards our main character and one detail with it showcases a question that is on my mind, and that is, is it really the same raptor, or is it something else? Because one detail that I haven't seen anybody talking about with this raptor is the fact that its eyes are not of the cat green that we saw in originally 1993's Jurassic Park, which is what this raptor should have, as it's the only one left alive after the events of Jurassic Park, but instead, has a very vivid, amber-like yellow eye that has only been seen with one group of raptors, and that is, of course, the male raptors of Isla Sorna that we saw in the Lost World Jurassic Park all the way back in 1997, which is a raptor species that we have not seen return whatsoever yet. And I know that for the Jurassic World website for the Dominion promotion, there were some images that were going around of, like, lists of raptors that were in the wild, which of course we got the video clip showcasing the Jurassic Park 3 raptors, but we never saw the return of the Lost World raptors at all. And for many, it's the best design for the raptors for many reasons. My favorite raptors, I must say, included. And yet, this little detail showcases yellow eyes for the raptors. And why is this? Why would this one detail be so important? Well, I think it has to do with two options. The first, and one that I hope it's not, is that they're going to take from Jurassic Park the game. When Dr. Laura Sorkin requests for raptors to be brought from Issa Sorna after the big one um, killed many of them originally, that was a big plot point for that game, and while many people have made comments of how this is very similar to the events of that first game, with a character being trapped on the island after the events, but the difference is, I don't think that this is going to be the case. I, I really hope it's not, first of all, because I don't want them just taking stuff from the other game, because while that game isn't good, it did have some interesting lore built into it. From Mount Sebo, of course, making its way into canon for Fallen Kingdom, and of course it being the destruction of Isla Nublar itself, so there's plenty of things that game did right for the lore, but bring raptors from Issa Sorna after the big one did kill is something that just wouldn't make sense in the scope of the time, especially considering that Robert Muldoon was very against the raptors being alive after the incidents with the big one. So I highly doubt that he would allow them to bring more. At least not without a heck of a fight and an argument. And considering how many things he was able to get away with, I think he would win this fight too. Especially considering the situation that the raptors have gotten them into. Because after all, it's the raptors attacking the workers that got Jurassic Park to be inspected by Donald Gennaro and all the main characters. But either way, I think the other option, and this one is much more intriguing to me, but I think we're going to be seeing this last raptor change its sex. Which we know that at least one of the three raptors did do, and it's a topic that many people have been arguing for years on which of the three original raptors of Jurassic Park 
changed from female to male. We always assumed that it was the big one that did. After all, its attitude would clearly agree with many people's arguments of why it would. While we've seen many cases of females being the leads of the pack, as in Jurassic Park 3, we didn't see that for The Lost World, and we didn't have any clear answer for Jurassic Park. But I think that this could be leaning to a plot point that may be answered for that movie on maybe the fact that the big one didn't change, but in fact one of her subordinates did, which for me is really intriguing. Like I know that many people are thinking that this isn't that big of a deal, but it is because if we're seeing the return of the Lost World Raptors, my question is why? What is the reason? Is it just for nostalgia? Or is this shot even just for nostalgia? Is it just they decided to go with yellow because it made creepier than the green? Or is there an actual reason? Maybe I'm delving too deeply into this after all, but I think it's at best to always look at the details and give some answers to them and wait for the true results. If this is nothing, then, well, first of all, I'll be very sad, especially since this isn't like the pre-alpha footage that the majority of the trailer is. The shot that we see of the raptor lunging at the scientist that we're going to be playing as, that is actual game footage. Even if it's alpha, it's proper game footage. So if they're going to show it to us, there's got to be a reason, guys. There's no way that this can be just like, oh, we just wanted to do it. Us Jurassic fans, at least realistically in this case, are always on the details. Any little sliver of a hint of something we are on, whether it's a change in a dinosaur's look, a change in the attitude or something, or a change in the story, we're always on the details. And when it's something as important as a raptor's eye color, considering the history with certain eye colors for raptors, we are eagerly excited for this, considering that, like, the story could be for one night or even a few, actually. If it's a few, then it's definitely really, really likely. And it would make sense from the details of the skin that it doesn't appear that the raptor is too orange or too tigery, but it's not too brown either. That's a thing. The reason I'm really talking about this is it's not just the eye. The skin also gives that color. But maybe it's just me. Maybe the reason people aren't talking about it is that they just don't want to get their hopes up. But I think we should. This game has the potential for many things. Being a successor to Jurassic Park the game, the game that had so much potential that failed miserably for most fans, even though I myself enjoy its story, I can agree that it was a failure of a game, but maybe this will be the successor. We don't know yet, but we are all very excited about this. But guys, I wanna know, do you think that this is possibly the case that we are seeing this last raptor of Isla Nublar change from its female design of Jurassic Park with the green eyes into the fiery tiger stripes of the Lost World with its blazing yellow amber eye? Or do you think I'm just crazy in that this is just a detail they wanted to get people talking about for other reasons? Whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear them in the comments. If you guys have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like as it helps the channel every little bit that one more like that we get. And if you guys haven't already and want to show a little bit more support and make my day, hit the subscribe button. Let's get the subscribe count higher. Let's join the hunt. And until next time, guys, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye